Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. So for this topic, so let's go ahead and finish our fire protection. So after we create our main pipes, so I'm going to show you how to create the branch pipes of our fire protection. Okay, but let's say for example, before I connect these sprinklers to my pipe here, okay, let's say for example, you... Uh, I created your main pipes with different system let's say you accidentally created like for example in this case these pipes if I select the pipe here okay so you will notice the system pipe here is uh, the system type here is hydronic supply so what you can do is uh, do not select all the pipes like this one because you will not be able to change the system type what you can do is you only need to select one pipe and then after that from the system type here you can click the drop down arrow and then you can select here the fire protection okay you just need to select the fire protection wet for example because my uh, sprinkler here is wet okay so I select the fire protection wet okay so you will notice that the type now here is fire protection wet now if I'm going to select the other pipe let's say this one it will also change to fire protection wet which is kind of cool right no need for you to change it one by one as long as they are properly connected it will uh, change also the other connection of the pipes okay it will propagate so if I select this one you will see that it's fire protection okay so let's go ahead and create our branch pipes okay so let's say for this sprinkler here so I'm gonna go ahead and select this sprinkler this is the first option that you can do to connect your sprinkler to the pipe which is what I called or which is what we called uh, connect into so just select this one and then you go to connect into click that and then after that you click now the pipe where you want to connect that there you go okay so in 3d view this is how it looks like see all right so maybe you can just turn on the thin lines first okay so that you can see it nicely okay of course for the size of the pipe it's up to you you can change that okay so i'm just showing you how to connect your your sprinklers to the pipe okay so let me just open my ceiling sprinkler again one ceiling sprinkler and then type wt for tau windows WT again okay so I can see the floor plan as well as the 3d now another option is let's say I want to connect this pipe to here okay so the problem here is if I'm going to click this and then if I click this one and then place it to my pipe the problem is there's an error okay because the height of my sprinkler is almost the same or it's too close to the uh, main pipe so I'm going to cancel this if I'm gonna select the sprinkler so it's about 2400 and then my main pipe here it's about 27 <coughs> so the difference is only 300 mm so that's why what I'm going to do instead of doing that so I'll go ahead and select this one and then I'm gonna click that icon again to create the pipe and then change the offset okay so maybe you can type uh, I can type 3000 3000 and then make sure add vertical is selected without the slope okay then I cannot click this one there you go. oh wait 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 why is it looks like this it's so funny okay so let me just undo it let me just undo it okay right oh all right so let me just try again so you click this one you click this to create the pipe and then let's say like what i've said uh, 3000 okay and then i'm going to click this pipe hmm there seems to be an error why, why is it like this it's so funny so let me try this one create a pipe 3000 
Oh, probably it's still it's too close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo it. I'm gonna change the height to let's say uh, 3,300. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click again. Yes, that is what I want. Okay. Right? So same procedure. So I click this, right click, draw pipe, change the height to 3,300, and then you click. Okay. Same with this. You click. You click. Okay. Right? So I click this while the pipe is still selected. So I click and then click here. Okay, until we complete our pipe to sprinklers, okay? And for this one, you can actually click this and then you can place it here. Okay, so that it looks like this. Okay, then you place it here. Place it here. Okay. So it's not that difficult, right? Okay. Alright. There you go. So basically, that's how you create your branch pipes to your sprinklers. Okay. So again, maybe I'm gonna select this portion here. And then I select the selection box. There you go. So this is how, it's, how it looks like. So, so you have two options. You can use the connect into. And then you can also use... Or you can also create the pipes manually <coughs> from the sprinkler okay so that's it so don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions comments or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can okay all right so once again thank you for watching and you all stay beautiful and handsome bye bye